Mr. Universe, you'll believe in heroes again. All right. So here we go. Um, let me... Hmm. Let me see. First of all... Let me close this one. I don't want this one. All right. Don't save. New. Now we're going to do inches. I am going to do this fairly high res because uh, as I do this on the as a layout, I am going to print it out. Uh, so I'm going to do the 15... Oh, no, no. With 10 by 15. This is the basic um, live art area size. 200 resolution. That's fine. Uh, the live art area resolution 200. You can print that out if you're doing this. Like I said, this is the basic process. 10 by 15 is the basic. Okay, so like if you're looking at this cover here, you're looking at this art. Oh, you can't. Probably really too small. But this is an 11 by 17 piece of paper. The live art area is a 10 by 15 box within that area. Roughly 10 by 15. Usually it's on the nose. But so that's that's your working space. When I go print this out on a piece of Bristol board, I'm gonna want that um, that to be the uh, that to be the case. Brush. So what you can do is have sort of a general idea. It's like uh, what's that called? The Fibonacci sequence? You know the thing where you go like here and you touch this side and then you touch this side and then you touch this side and then it goes in and it does like the clamshell thing. Um, this can be kind of your guideline if you want to do that. There are different sorts of layouts for visual. I mean you can do layout designs that are, are uh, whoops, that are as simple oh my gosh simple as like you know you can do like a V layout design you can do uh, you can do a bisected horizontally you can do bisected vertically um, the nu numbers of I'm not gonna get into choose your design but yeah the golden spiral that's kind of the way I want to do it here um, so I can I and you don't have to be all perfect about it but like so you lead your eye around here you keep this kind of in mind as you're doing a layout so if you want your major character to be here or if you want the spiral to go upwards right you can have your major player up here which is kind of what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do my dude here this is not how he's gonna look but then how do I lead things up here? I can have, uh, I can have, oh, okay, okay, I know there's aliens. So I can do like alien faces here, alien faces here that kind of lead up into a thing and you know, they can be doing whatever creepy little things with their goblets and cups and whatever. So I can do like three alien faces. This guy will be on top because he is the focal point. Um, and then I'll just use like, these spaces for uh, let's see what else we got we got alien faces we got uh, okay we have a nice long curving line here which we could do the gosh I don't want to do a figure that's the same size as him what I want to do is go over to my reference and see what else oh you know what you can do see you have this nice long slope here I can do that. There is a beautiful girl in this image, so I can use that curve, right, for to do the beautiful girl face. And then maybe I could do something here with like, I don't know, they have UFOs or something and like some sort of a battle sequence. I can do some more smaller, uh, uh, maybe a like battle work or something like that. And so that does draw the eye. It draws it from a large face to smaller face up this line and then back down around her face and then right into the center character of the off-worlder so that's uh ah what the heck i'll just do that let's see i will lighten this up okay he's like create another layer and then i will start in on 
Upworlder. So I'm gonna do sort of a sort of a hunched over, you know, crunched up abs. Cause this dude's pretty yoked. What technique did you use for the detective dead cover? Uh, I just I picked a focal point, um, like sort of the the upshot. It's it's kind of the V layout, um, kind of. Like I said, there's there's a numerous ways that you can go um, in doing your layout and your your design and whatnot. And sometimes you just want to do a scene from from the uh, the book then that's you know what you design is based on what is happening in the scene I'll have to go back in with better reference in a minute but uh, sexy young thing probably has a Ears? No ears? And I'm gonna go ahead and really kind of give these guys some era of darkness so they kind of drop into. I should probably be doing this with a bigger brush, but. So I'll probably shade these in this way so that gives a nice edge here. Um, all right, I actually don't like how big this guy's head is in comparison because this should be a tapering effect that leads your eye back and if it's just as big as the front head then it kind of just blocks you and maybe reduce it by a little bit here and move it up and move it all the way up here and then let me get back to the reference on that one. 
And then I can actually have more of his outfit anyways, or whatever it is. <coughs> and I'll probably <coughs> drop this into black too. So it just looks like he's... Looks like they're on the same plane because they both have the same lighting. So, yeah, something like that. Alright, guys, thanks so far. I could actually make this guy a little bit bigger. Actually, I'd probably just do his head here. That's not bad. Anyways, that is roughly... Oh no, I'm... Okay. Roughly... Um... A layout. Now, see, what I can do here is say, huh, I think I'd rather him be in the middle rather than off to the side a wee bit. And since I did this digitally, I can simply... Move the guy. And if I want to make him bigger, I can do that too. This is where digital makes life easier. All right. <clears throat> what do you guys think? That's cheating, Mike. I know. It's the best kind of cheating. Yeah, now I am going to uh, print this out. You know what? I kind of don't like this spaceship. Um... I don't really know what else I can do in that space. 
Actually, you know what? That's where the title's going to be. Maybe I should just not do anything. Maybe I should... Uh oh. Hey, that's not a bad idea. So, what if I finished this battle scene out here, right? And then did, um... Sort of just a, a mountain range or something, but then it wouldn't be black, and then that would kind of mess up with that. Um, put a planet with a ring. Planets. Planets. Um, I could put, like, you know, George Jetson UFO back here. <laughs> Smaller spaceship coming at the camera. Well, that's what I'm, the title's going to be here. So I don't want it to be anything important. Alright. That's a pretty good layout. Pretty good layout. And I can have her hair coming, falling down here. Have her chest kind of... Eh, that'd be kind of, kind of a tangent chest with this dude. Maybe I don't need that. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Alright. Now I take this. I take the previous layout underneath. And I delete it. And then what I do is I convert this to... I colorize it. Right? I switch the hue over to uh, cyan... Like center of the cyan. I maximize the saturation, and then I lighten it up to about 85%, which you can barely see, right? 84, 85%. It gets really light. Um, but then when this prints out uh, with the color printer, it makes a good basis uh, to start actually doing your... Uh, um, color work so now I'm gonna go do that which means I think we're done here thank you for joining me for uh, how to draw comics like a pro